So let's go to a different layer. I'm just going to go to layer two. And what I'm going to do is let's make a bouncy ball. So I'm going to start off on frame zero, control A, a ball. Now we all know that the ball it should be um, animated. The first animation is a bouncy ball, but we can cheat here. So I don't want, lo I don't want the rotation. I want location now. So I'm going to press I to make sure that location is saved. And about frame, let's say just 100 to make life a little bit easier. I want the ball to finish here. But I do want it to bounce. So what I'm going to select is press T. And I'm just going to select bounce. And this is the cheating way. It is now on the graph editor, we've selected bounce. Now if I press play, That did not work, but we can see that it was bouncing. What we can do is I'm going to delete that keyframe. So I'm going to select that keyframe. There we go, up here. Select this keyframe and delete and delete. Delete keyframe. Back to frame 100. I am just going to move it all the way down. And we've got a bounce. So let's just watch this one blop 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 so in year whatever physics we know a body in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an equal or greater force so let's move the ball to this location over here and we can see that this one's now bouncing we don't want it to bounce so i'm just going to select this line t i just want linear and i'm going to select this object here t linear and so now when I press play, <laughs> kind of doesn't stop there. I'm going to right click on this keyframe, G, and let's just go 44, why not? And so now what we'll have is a bouncing ball that rolls on for a little bit. So that's the basics of the key for, of the graph editor. We can just select all T, sorry, T, and we can do a whole bunch of different things like um, elastic. Actually, let's do elastic. If I select this one, Control L, nope, didn't let me. I'm going to select both these T, and then elastic, and it should go boing. <laughs> oh gosh uh, G X is that going to I want to increase the boings nope um, so I can expand it I just want Z location let's make that a little bit larger no it's not letting me do it very well T N to bring up the panel, elastic, period. If I extend it, no, that's not going to work. If I decrease it, that's not going to work. Amplitude, no. No, it's being a jerk. The other thing that we've got as well is we can do a back. So what will happen is it's going to finish at this point but it's going to come past this point and that's where it's going to end. Let me just bring this back down to zero G Y. And then what we'll actually see, see how it goes down past and then it'll roll. So this is very handy for doing uh, 2d infographics. And I've got another course on that. Fantastic. It works very well. But this is the basics of the graph editor.